minister is not work, worth the drugs and death. His extreme and radical drug policy has increased overdose deaths in British Columbia by 380 percent. Oh, my God. In the year following his decriminalization of crack, heroin, and other hard drugs in hospitals, transit buses, coffee shops, and parks where children play, there has been a record-smashing 2,500 deaths. Will the Prime Minister accept the BC NDP's demand to recriminalize those drugs? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I just answered that question. What hasn't been answered by the Leader of the Opposition is why he chooses to continue right. to court extreme right nationalist groups like Diagonal Line. He refuses to there you go right out the gate, bro. who don't believe Canadians should coexist with each other. Instead, they call for war and tell people to follow uh, their instincts accordingly. The Leader of the Conservative Party is actively courting the support of groups with white nationalist views. It is disturbing, and he needs to stand up and apologize now. Right now. <laughs> oh my God. Colleagues, so soon in question period, it is important that we try to control ourselves. I'll ask the honourable member from St. Albert, uh, Edmonton, please, to allow members to ask uh, the questions and members to respond. The honourable leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, I always condemn extremism and racism, including from the guy who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist, dressing up in hideous racist costumes so many times. There it is. Drop some W's, folks. Get the W's rolling. Someone's going to get kicked out. The Honourable uh, Member, uh, Leader of the Opposition, uh, knows that to make an accusation directly at, uh, at the of a single person... He's not offended? The House Speaker's not offended by what Trudeau's done? ...to control themselves. He's going to mute the mic. He's going to mute the mic. I'm calling it. I'll ask the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition to rephrase this question and to start uh, from the top. <laughs> He's going to do it again. Mr. Speaker, I also condemn the extremism of a Prime Minister who gives hundreds of thousands of dollars of anti-racism money to a <gasps> Jew hater who has proposed shooting Jews in the head. Yeah. I, condemn, I condemn a Prime Minister who allows the IRGC, which murdered 55 Canadians, to remain legal. And I condemn a Prime Minister who allows open use of crack, heroin, meth and weapons in hospital rooms that threaten nurses and on school buses next to children. Will the Prime Minister reverse his extremist policies at the death of Oh my god, the whole bench, bro, the whole bench is clapping. Let's go, folks. Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us exactly what shameful, spineless leadership looks like. He shakes hands with white nationalists and then goes to actively support the support of those members and has the nerve. Get it together, Greg! Get it together! Get it together! Get it Ask the honourable member from Lethbridge if she has problems with the chair that she should challenge the chair in a way. But as she knows, as the honourable member from Lethbridge knows, that by challenging the chair is against the rules of this house. I'll ask the honourable member to please to ask her to withdraw her remarks. Is acting in a disgraceful manner. I'm going to ask you. Ooh! Oh my God, he did not just mute the mic. Man, I want to write a strong worded letter <laughs> to Parliament. I just, this shit pisses me off.
It's our democratic right to see what the hell is happening. For disregarding the authority of the chair. Oh, someone's getting kicked out. To authority granted to me by standing order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Kicked out. Now back to the issue at hand. Mrs. Thomas, my apologies. Now back to the original point. I'm going to ask the Prime Minister to please... Uh, as I'd ask the uh, leader of the opposition to, with, to uh, we can start from again and to make sure that he does, to start his question, to reframe it in a Holy way that crap. does not call into the character of an individual member of parliament. The Honourable Prime Minister, Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us once again uh, what he will do to try and earn votes through personal attacks. He shakes the hands of the leader of a white nationalist group that goes to actively court the support of the group's members and thinks he can get away with it. This is a group that advocates for violence against 2SLGBTQI plus Canadians, against Hindus and Sikhs, uh, against uh, Muslims and Jews. Diagalong stands against everything we stand for as Canadians, and yet he will not denounce them or what they stand for. That is shameful, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that, like everything else he says, is false. He uses fears and fear and falsehood and this latest distraction because he doesn't want to face the fact that he is, is become so extreme Dagle? and radical that even the B.C. NDP is distancing himself, themselves from his decriminalization of crack, heroin, meth, and other hard drugs in hospital rooms causing nurses to have to stop breastfeeding their babies for fear that their contaminated air might end up in the breast milk of the baby. Why won't he ban these drugs? Mm -hmm. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. He will still won't condemn these groups. Any leader that needs the support of a far-right white nationalist group to fundraise and get closer to power does not deserve elected office. This is exactly, this is a 19-year career politician who knows exactly what he's doing and thinks he can get away with it. It was a choice to pander to white nationalists, not an accident, and it is a choice to continue to not condemn them and condemn everything they stand for in his quest for votes. This is interesting. This is interesting that Trudeau's badgering this so much. I'm going to ask the Honourable Member for the second time from St. Albert, Edmonton, to please withhold his comments until he has the floor. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it is a choice for him to implement extremist policies that have taken the lives of 2,500 British Columbians every single year. Since the NDP has asked him to reverse course on his and formerly their radical policy, 22 British Columbians have died of drug overdoses. But he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko Prime Minister? No, no, no. No, 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 no. You hear this, House Speaker? No, no. Not accept. <laughs> there are a couple of things which, today, which is not acceptable. Folks, W's in the chat. The House Speaker's going to start crying. To control themselves. I'm going to ask two things. <laughs> He's going to start crying, dude. I'm going to ask the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition to oh, holy crap. Uh, that term, which is not considered parliamentary. 
Mr. Speaker, I replace Wacko with extremist. He is an extremist. The honourable member to please. Pierre's going to get kicked out or he's going to just stop question period today. I'm, going to ask the I'm calling it now. Once again, to just withdraw that comment, please. And I'll invite the honourable member. Don't do it, Pierre. Double down. Double down. Be a Chad. Double down. Double down, Pierre. Double down, bro. Double down. Let's see them W's in the chat. And simply withdraw that comment. Double down, Pierre. Get kicked out. Take it on the chin. I'll replace it with radical no, I'm a, policy. I'm, yeah! I'm asking the honorable member to just simply withdraw. Do it again. Do it again, Pierre. Do it again. Get kicked out. Come on, please. Mr. Speaker, I replace the word wacko with extremist. He's going to get kicked out. Oh, my God. He's going to beat the mic. He's going to beat the mic. <laughs> Pierre, is, Pierre is chatting it today. They're going over the pros and cons right now. You can see Andrew Shear leaning in. My camera's kind of blocking it. But right under where my camera is, they're going over the pros and cons of whether he should double down, triple down, quadruple down again and risk getting kicked out. Is it going to be good? Is it going to serve the conservatives? Is it going to bring them in, you know, ahead in the opinion polls? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's only going to benefit the conservatives. People are so fed up with Justin Trudeau. Call him an extremist. Call him a wacko. Double, triple down. The clips will get millions of views. He'll gain more popularity. I'm going to ask the Honorable Leader of the Opposition one last time. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pierre. Please Don't do it. Withdraw that comment. Don't withdraw. Simply withdraw that comment. Double down. I simply withdraw and replace with the aforementioned adjective. Yes! Yes! He's going to get out. He's going to get out. He's going to get out. Ah! Mr. Polyev, I have to name you regarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of the Oh my God! W's in the chat, please and thank you. The stream is not paused. He's just trying to act stoic. He's muted the mic. W's in the freaking chat. You have not ever seen this. Pierre, oh my God, Mwah. chef's kiss. Good freaking job. This is only a massive win for the conservatives. They are showing what a joke it is. They are showing how corrupt it is. This is amazing. You're going to see Jordan Peterson talk about this. You're going to see Elon Musk talk about this. You're going to see Alex Jones talk about this. You're going to see Joe Rogan talk about this. You're going to see Sky News talk about this. You're going to see India Today talk about this. You're going to see Fox News talk about this. Everybody and their mom is going to be talking about how the leader of the opposition just got kicked out for spreading the truth. Of, what's, of what Justin Trudeau is. He's a wacko. He's an extremist. He's radical. This is insane. This is insane. The conservatives all left. The conservatives all left. The conservative bench left. Oh, my God. They all left. Are you guys seeing this? The second matter which I was going to bring up was the fact that I was hearing some cat calling from the far end of the house. I'm going to... W's, 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 person, W's. All members to carry themselves, to carry themselves in a way that is dignified for this House. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition wants to talk about extremism. Well, a week ago, he visited a Diagalon encampment. Diagalon hates that minorities in this country get the same protections as everyone else, and they are charter-protected rights. Just yesterday... A week after the conservative leader... Holy shit, I don't know what to do with the stream. I don't know what to do with the stream. It's done. Look, they're all gone. I'll ask the honorable... Garnett, get up and walk out. French dude, get up and walk out. Lakes, to please 
to please withdraw, to please. Uh, <coughs> Motherfuckers! I called it. I called it. I thought it was going to happen the other week, but it happened now. I'll ask Fucking called it. Pri- right honourable prime minister to continue. The Conservatives gonna, walked right out Minister, of Parliament. Minister, Bro, this has never been done before. Seconds left on the clock. Mr. Speaker, the association of the Leader of the Opposition with Diagonal and their disdain for charter protected rights brought them to just yesterday, a week after he sat down with Diagonal members, he gave a speech pledging to overturn the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the rights of Canadians, and our justice system. That's it.